Welcome to Performance Center 9.1. The Time Slots feature enables you to ensure that enough resources, such as machines and V users, are available to run your load test. The Time Slots feature has been improved and now provides greater insight into the way resource reservation of different projects affects each other. This information is crucial to anyone attempting to schedule a load test as the controllers or load generators required to run a load test may already be in use by another project. To make time slot reservation easier, a detailed summary of available resources is provided for each time slot. Let's log in to the user's site system and view the time slots reserved in the project called Sample Project 1. Say we want to schedule a load test for the week of May 5th. Let's see what time slots are available for that week. In the calendar, time slots used by the current project are displayed in blue, time slots used by other projects are displayed in gray, and time slots used by both the current project and other projects are displayed in blue-gray. We would like to run a load test for one hour in the morning, so let's see what resources are available. We see that we cannot run anything on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday morning as there are no available resources. We know this because all these time slots are marked with a red X. Let's focus then on Tuesday morning. Between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, our project is scheduled to run some load tests. We know this because the time slots are colored blue. Between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, other projects are scheduled to run some load tests. We can see this because the time slots are colored gray. Between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock, our project and other projects are scheduled to run some load tests. We can see this because the time slots are colored blue-gray. Let's try and see if any of these time slots contain enough available resources for the load test we want to run, which requires one controller, two load generators, and 500 V users. When we point to a time slot, a tooltip displays all the information regarding available resources for that time slot. We can see that between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, the required controller and load generators are available, but only 300 V users are available. Between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, the required controller and load generators are available, and 600 V users are available. We can therefore safely schedule our test for this time. In this case, we were able to find a time slot at the time we needed and with the resources we required. However, sometimes we need to schedule a test at a specific time and there are not enough resources available. If the required resources are reserved by our project, we can simply free them by freeing the reserved time slot. However, it is possible that the resources we require are being shared with another project and may be fully booked by that project at the time that we want to run our load test. For example, if we need to schedule a test specifically for Wednesday morning at 9.30 and the time slot was fully booked by other projects, we could contact the Performance Center Administrator who has additional insight into how other projects are using the required resources. The Administrator can navigate to the required time slot in the Administration site select our project, and then look at each half-hour slot to see which other projects reserved resources for that time. In this example, sample project 2. He could then contact the users of these other projects and try to resolve the scheduling conflict by seeing if the time slot can be freed for our use. This demonstration has shown you some of the new time slot capabilities available in Performance Center 9.1. These new capabilities help make test scheduling easier by providing more information about resource availability and usage.
For more information about working with time slots, see the HP Performance Center User's Guide.